Hello, my name is Justin Klumbala and I am a certified instructor here at the Jim McLean Golf School at the La Quinta Resort and Club. And we are located here in beautiful La Quinta, California. Today we're going to be looking at Golf Digest Ultimate Drill Book by Jim McLean. It's a great book with tons of drills in it and uh, we're going to be looking at the first drill in particular called the Grip Pressure Drill. Now grip pressure is something that's usually really overlooked by most amateurs and most high handicappers and it's a crucial part of the game that actually controls not only the, how fast you swing the club but how much control you have over the club head. Um, most amateurs and most high handicappers tend to have too tight of a grip and the old saying goes is that if you grip tight, look right. Because usually uh, if, you, if you're gripping too tight, you're going to come through and not be able to release the club head over. Also, if you're gripping too tight, you're not going to be able to get a, a, as an amount of swish at the bottom of, the, of your arc. So we want to try to find a grip pressure that's going to give you the most amount of speed and the most amount of control. Now, Jim came up with in, 19, uh, in the 1980s a grip pressure scale system that goes from 1 to 10. Um, he used this with a lot of his clinics and a lot of his schools and it really kind of clicked in a lot of people's heads on really how important grip pressure is. Now if you can uh, kind of go ahead and sit at home or while you're watching this TV, uh, while you're watching this video and go ahead and go along with the grip pressure scale with me, but go ahead and uh, grab a club and go through this scale with me so you can start to identify what numbers feel which way in, in your grip. So we'll start off at a 1, and a 1 is a scale of where the club is just barely in your hands and it's about to fall through. A 0 would be where it falls completely through, so we're just holding on tight enough where it doesn't fall through. Now we're going to work up to a 2, now to a 3, to a 4, to a 5. We're about halfway to as hard as we possibly can hold, and uh, we have quite a bit of uh, control here, but we're going to keep going now. Now go up to a 6, to a 7, to an 8, to a 9, now to a 10. Now your, your white knuckle grips, uh, it, it's, it's very uncomfortable to hold the club at this, at this uh, stage. Go ahead and try to give yourself a couple of circles. You can do some circles, but it feels very awkward. It, it actually may even hurt a little bit. So uh, it's probably not your ideal grip pressure. Now let's work back down to a 10, from a 10 to a 9, to an 8 to a 7, to a 6, to a 5, to a 4. This is going to be your ideal grip pressure that's going to be able to give you the most amount of speed and the most amount of control. Please go through this grip pressure scale as much as you can and really try to identify what that 4 or 5 uh, is and it's probably going to be, uh, a, who knows, this could be one of the best tips you've ever heard and it'll get you uh, swinging the club much more uh, powerfully and a lot more in control. I hope this helps your game.